Coronavirus Update. I'm Julie Walker with an AP News Minute. With COVID cases expected to spike this winter, they'll collide with flu season and other viruses. Already, the CDC reports this month, the U.S. has been recording about 5,000 cases per week of RSV, respiratory syncytial virus. It causes cold-like symptoms but can be serious for infants and older adults, says the CDC's Dr. Eileen Schneider. It causes an infection that affects the lungs and breathing passages. She says it's time to seek medical help. When you're having difficulty breathing, not drinking enough fluids, or if your symptoms are getting worse. Federal data shows children's hospital beds filling up. Pfizer will charge $110 to $130 for a dose of its COVID vaccine once the U.S. government stops buying the shots, but the drug maker says it expects many people will continue receiving doses for free, such as those who have private insurance or Medicare. Pfizer already has an income-based assistance program that helps those without coverage. A panel of U.S. vaccine experts said Thursday that COVID shots should be added to the lists of recommended vaccinations for kids and adults. The panel's decisions are almost always adopted by the CDC director and then sent to doctors as part of the government's advice on how to prevent disease. China doubles down on its at times draconian zero COVID policies, even as the population may have wished for a hint at the Communist Party's Congress that the rules would be eased. Many residents have resigned themselves to lining up several times a week for virus tests, restrictions on their travels, and the ever-present possibility of a community lockdown. While the measures have bred simmering discontent and even rare public protests, analysts are surprised the restrictions will continue. They say China still needs better vaccine protection across its population and that any changes will be gradual. Julie Walker, AP News.